Are you being faithful or foolish? But God said to him, fool. I told you he called him a fool. This night your soul is required of you and the things you have prepared, whose will they be? Is it a a sin to save? No, not at all. Is it a sin to retire? Eh, Maybe, but I don't think so. doesn't ever just flat out say that in the scripture. But we automatically think, well, that's just life. You retire. You save up a lot of money so you can live a, a long life after, you know, you're 65, 70, whatever, and you can just live easy. Is it a sin to save? Not at all. Is it a sin to retire? No. But what are you wanting to save for? What are you wanting to retire for? Now, a lot of us aren't really near retirement. But we've thought about that. I can't wait till later in my life when I can just not have to work all the time and have enough money and then to do what? The thing in America is that everyone wants to retire from life. It's like, I want to retire so I can sit around on a beach all the time and collect seashells. Cool. The thing is, we can retire from our job. We can retire from working hard and we get older. But you don't retire from being a Christian. You don't retire from being on mission to make disciples, to reach the lost. You don't retire from that. And many people do. There's a sermon and there's a book by John Piper called Don't Waste Your Life. There's a sermon you can look up on YouTube. It's like 30, 40 minutes, something like that. He gave in the year, I think, 2000 at a passion conference. He looks really dorky and it's awesome because he's a great Bible teacher. I love Bible teachers that look really dorky because people aren't just flocking to him because he looks cool. Anyways, he says at one time he, he was reading something in a magazine that was talking about these people that have retired and it was so beautiful and whatever. And he said what he's reading is that these people retired so that they can move to Florida. Like, you know, that's the general idea. And they could spend their days walking on the beach and collecting seashells that are beautiful. And that's their life. That's what they retired for. And Piper says, can you imagine if these people, if these people were believers? Can you imagine us doing that? Us retiring so that we could essentially just waste our days collecting seashells. And we get before Jesus someday and he goes, what's up? You say, look at all these shells. (laughs) Jesus, look at all the seashells that I collected. And he's going to go, what are you talking about? How many of us want to, we're going to stand before Jesus someday. I'm not trying to put the fear in you. It's like, oh, I better do good. No, but just realize you're going to stand before your creator someday. And what are we going to say? What are we going to go? Look at my house or my car. Look how many Facebook friends I had. Look how many likes I got on that post. Look how many retweets I got. Look how nice my clothes are. We won't even say anything things like that because we're going to go, oh, that was kind of stupid in light of this, in light of eternity. 